Ms. Lee, you've said several times that you've uh, spent your career in criminal practice, which I understand. However, you did work for two years as a law clerk uh, in the federal courts where the caseload is more than two-thirds civil, and these are fairly basic questions of civil procedure. These are not obscure questions about, say, riparian rights. Um, I'm surprised that you weren't prepared to answer these questions today. Um, like one of the most important moments in your professional career, and it raises concerns to me about what litigants should expect from you should you be confirmed at the level of preparation you will bring into oral arguments. Um, in a civil case in federal court, um, when did the parties have a right to a jury trial? Thank you for the thank you for that question, Senator. Uh, my practice has been primarily in criminal, and so I'm not uh, familiar with all of the rules of, of civil procedure and in terms of uh, entitlement to jury jury trials and the like. Uh, so, Miss Lee, I understand you've spent most of your career in criminal law, but this is a fairly basic question about when a civil litigant has a right to a jury trial. You don't have an answer to that question. Uh, thank you, Senator. No, I don't. Off, I do not know what the the, the requirement is or, or the rule is. Uh, uh, how many jurors are there on are there on a federal civil jury, Miss Lee? Thank you, Senator. Um, my understanding is that in the context as well of a, a civil jury trial, civ, civil jury trial, um, that an individual is still entitled to twelve uh, jurors. Um, although, as I said, I have not practiced in the civil context, and so the specific procedural rules, I'm not, uh, I have not had occasion to uh, be familiarized with, familiarize myself with, I should say. Okay. They're entitled to at least six and no more than 12. Uh, can subject matter jurisdiction be waived in federal court, Ms. Lee? Subject matter jurisdiction? Um, yes. I, I, I do not, um, thank you for that, the question, sir. I do not believe uh, that subject matter jurisdiction can be waived. However, I'm, as I said, I'm not, I have not practiced uh, civil litigation. Uh, that's right, it cannot be waived. Um, for the purposes of determining diversity jurisdiction in a federal civil case, in what states is a corporation considered a citizen? Um, thank you, Senator. I'm not positive about that, my understanding well, I will say I'm not positive what the rules are on when a corporation can be considered. Uh, do you say a citizen or a party to a... a purposes of diversity jurisdiction. Right. Purposes of diversity jurisdiction in which state is a corporation considered a citizen. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Senator. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, I cannot answer for you what the circumstances are for that. Uh, can civil litigants remove potential jurors because they don't like their political beliefs? Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, I, I am not positive on, on what the rules are on that. It it's, does not present the same claim, uh, the same issue, certainly in the criminal context where there are, are uh, limitations on peremptory strikes, but I'm not familiar with the rules for the uh, jury service and, and use of peremptories in the civil context. Yes. I hear you, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Um, I want to thank, thank the witnesses, too, for their appearances. Um, both of you uh, have spent your careers as a criminal defense attorney. Uh, have you ever represented a terrorist and detained at Guantanamo Bay? We'll start, Ms. Rossman, with you. No, Senator. And Ms. Lee? Uh, no, Senator. Um, have you ever represented someone charged with a terrorism offense under federal law, Ms. Rossman? I have not personally, no. Ms. Lee? No, I have not, Senator. Okay, thank you. Uh, Ms. Lee, um, in a civil case in federal court, um, when did the parties have a right to a jury trial? Thank you for, the, thank you for that question, Senator. Uh, my practice has been primarily in criminal, and so I'm not uh, familiar with all of the rules of, of civil procedure in, in terms of uh, entitlement to jury, jury trials and the like. Uh, certainly, though, I have experience as I noted before in terms of uh, figuring out new issues when they've been presented to me and determining uh, what the law is and how it applies to the particular circumstances. Uh, so Ms. Lee, I understand you've spent most of your career in criminal law, but this is a fairly basic question about when a civil litigant has a right to a jury trial. You don't have an answer to that question? Uh, thank you, Senator. No, I don't, off, 
I do not know what the, the, the requirement is or, or the rule is uh, for entitlement to uh, a jury trial in the civil context. Uh, as I said, I, I have a, 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 a lot of experience in, in figuring out uh, uh, unfamiliar areas of law and certainly uh, when those are presented to me, uh, I start with the specific claim being presented and, and work through the law and, and what I need to figure out to, to answer the, the question at issue. Okay. The Seventh Amendment guarantees a right to trial by jury in all cases where the value in controversy exceeds twenty dollars. Uh, how many jurors are there on are there on a federal civil jury, Miss Lee? Thank you, Senator. Um, my understanding is that in the context as well of a, a civil jury trial, civil jury trial, um, that an individual is still entitled to twelve uh, jurors. Um, although, as I said, I have not practiced in the civil context, and so the specific procedural rules, I'm not, uh, I have not had occasion to uh, be familiarized with, familiarize myself with, I should say. Okay. They're entitled to at least six and no more than 12. Uh, can subject matter jurisdiction be waived in federal court, Ms. Lee? Subject matter jurisdiction? Um, yes. I, I do not... Um, thank you for that. The question, sir. I do not believe uh, that subject matter jurisdiction can be waived. However, I'm, as I said, I'm not. I have not practiced uh, civil litigation. Uh, that's right. It cannot be waived. Um, for the purposes of determining diversity jurisdiction in a federal civil case, in what states is a corporation considered a citizen? Uh, thank you, Senator. I'm not positive about that. My understanding. Well, I, I will say I, I'm not positive what the rules are, are on when a, a corporation can be considered. Uh, uh, I, do you say a citizen or a, a party to a, a... Purposes of diversity jurisdiction. Right. Purposes of diversity jurisdiction in which state is a corporation considered a citizen. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Senator. No, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, I cannot answer for you what the circumstances are for that. The state where the corporation is incorporated and where it has its principal place of business. In a in a federal civil jury, uh, each side is guaranteed at least three peremptory strikes. Uh, can civil litigants remove potential jurors because they don't like their political beliefs? Uh, thank you, Senator. Um, I. I am not positive on what the rules are on that. It it's, does not present the same claim, uh, the same issue, certainly in the criminal context where there are, are uh, limitations on peremptory strikes, but I am not familiar with the rules for the uh, jury service and, and use of peremptories in the civil context. The answer is yes, they can. Uh, they can't use the strikes, of course, due to race or sex, though. Ms. Lee, you've said several times that you've uh, spent your career in criminal practice, which I understand. However, you did work for two years as a law clerk uh, in the federal courts where the caseload is more than two thirds civil. And these are fairly basic questions of civil procedure. These are not obscure questions about say, riparian rights. Um, I'm surprised that you weren't prepared to answer these questions today. Um, like one of the most important moments in your professional career. And it raises concerns to me about what litigants should expect from you should you be con confirmed at the level of preparation you will bring into oral arguments. I have some more questions, but my time is expired. So I'll yield back to the chairman. Thank you, Senator Cotton. I believe.